We're good this time. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm the game, people. Oh, why do you believe? This episode. What, what, I was I was walking the dog today actually, and I was having a joke with Whitney, like when I'm older, <laughs> and I'll be like. Uh, welcome back to this episode of 745 million. <laughs> oh god. Uh, like, there's a part of me that really doesn't want that to happen. <laughs> and it won't, it won't, because Jurassic World, the game, like any game, has a lifespan. Actually, well, most games technically don't, but some games do. And this is a mobile game, which means trends and all that jazz. Anyway, anyway, this is the first time I'm recording this with the Elgato capture card. It seems to be working, like, I've just reinstalled it. It's all good. It's all good, okay guys? But before we start, before you get bored of me, here we go, I've got an update for you. If you look down in the description, yeah, yeah, that's right, there's more to this video. If you look down in the description, there's a link, okay? And that link, pro thingied by. <laughs> Sorry, I may, I may have had a tiny bit to drink, a tiny bit. And it's really hot, because it's a beautiful day. And like, I can't help that. <laughs> but there's a link down below, and um, you can click on that and make you can get 50 bucks 50 dna and 50 vip points for every one of my videos and that was thankfully or um graciously that's the word donated by uh, or given to me by lydia so uh big thanks to them they've been working on this for ages uh, some way for um them to code it or whatever to make it for you guys uh, it's like a working in tandem, like, you get, you know, good stuff, and I get, I, I, I get to give you rewards, and they also, you know, help to promote the game, and also promote me. So, if you go down the description below, there will be a link, uh, if you want to claim it, you can only do it once, and, just like Dragon Rise and we've had that for ages, um, but, the only way to claim it is, whatever device you play the, this game on, you have to click on it with that device. So, um... If you're on mobile, uh, you'll have Jurassic World installed in there. So you make sure the game is closed. So you'd have to go out, swipe up, so it's completely closed. And then, in theory, that I'll not do it now because I don't have the link. Uh, but you click on the link and it'll take you to open up Jurassic World the game. And you say, okay. And then there you go. You've got 50 VIP points, 50 DNA, and 50 bucks. And that, from here on out, we should be doing a, um, a video... Well, a link in every video. So I've got, you know, I'm giving back some to you, which is awesome. Uh, I love this as well, by the way. The whole look, like, you get to see the island zoomed out, and you never see that. You never see it. And here it is. It looks so cool, because it does look like Isla Nublar. Anyway, I was meaning... Ooh, what's this? Four times purchase bonus by popular demand. Really? Yeah, popular demand, probably by the hackers. But if they're hackers, then they get VIP points anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but uh, and they're obviously, they're promoting that. So, so, let's collect our DNA from the DNA build, collect our food, collect our, um, Charlie, I think that is, mystery pack. And again, I've never gotten a Charlie Blue or Delta card from these mystery packs. It's only been general mystery pack stuff. Um, you'll notice we have, like, loads, I mean, absolutely loads of VIP points. We're back up to 300,000 DNA, because I'm a boss. And we got 73,000, uh, bucks. And let me just see if I can trade anything. <gasps> 8 million food. Ooh, I could trade 8 million food for four. Yeah, let's do it. Whatever. YOLO, you only live once. Anyway, um, I'm here. I came to you. I came to you personally. Not anybody else. This video is just shown directly for you, okay? <laughs> um, that's what every that's what every YouTuber would want. Hey, 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 you there. You're special. And I got a special relationship with you. <laughs> just you. Nobody else. Um it would be amazing, but, we, you know, we, we can't do that. Anyway, um, there is something new, like the new creatures that came out. If we go to the visit, the new updated innovation center, which shows us all the creatures. Uh, there is a new uh, creature in the aquatic, which is the Ramliosaurus, which I don't know if it's a new animation. It doesn't look like it's a new animation. There's also a new glacier, which is the Deodocus, which will definitely have a new animation because nothing else has that one. Um, I think that maybe it says unlocked by special event. Now, if you look at... Romal Romalosauruses. It has a glow behind it. However, the glow is not like a tournament creature because it's not like you moon And I think you moon was a tournament creature. It's not like Tylosaur and Tylosaur was a VIP creature It's a different kind of glow. It's like it's like a normal legendary like Styxosaur except for 
it's got a little bit of a glow. And that could be because we haven't owned it. But if we go on VIP points, there it is. Romulosaurus for 50,000 VIP points. <laughs> get out of town. But anyway, we're going to get it because, you know, we don't skimp out on this channel. If there's a pack, we buy it. We cry afterwards. But hey, at least we know what's in it. Um, so we're going to have to get this. I thought that was a strip club, actually. <laughs> it's a supper, supper club. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic World Strip Club with Rexy. <laughs> anyway, anyway, off topic. Um, let's, uh, ho off topic, hot topic. Um, I have been doing the, um, I shouldn't have collected a lot. I've been doing these guys. Um, not literate, of course. I have, I've been, um, <laughs> putting food and coin. Uh, so, I, you know, because eventually I'm going to get a trade. That could be, if you look at Echo here, I've got 34, or sorry, 25 of these killer instincts, which gives us minus four. Now, if I, if a trade offer comes up, trading 25 of those instincts for 10,000 DNA, oh, I'm going to take it. And I've probably made that back, um, even by just participating. Like, if I do these and I go enter, you know, I, I lose food. Technically, I lose food. Coin, I don't care about because I get coin back. The only thing I really do lose that I can't get back instantly is DNA. And that only comes up every now and again. Usually, you know, once or twice per spin, uh, per, per feeding, like obedience. So there's one. That was 41 DNA. So if I look at this, and the only thing I'm losing is DNA. So far, I got one um, Charlie thing. Oh, I think it's Charlie. Is it Charlie? I think it is. I got one of those. I got a common. I've now got a rare. And technically, all that's cost me is 41 DNA. So you can look at Spar's good because it's a free. That's 98. So that was a fair bit. That was a fair bit of DNA. But as long as you've got all the dinosaurs maxed up, you don't have to spend any bucks. And the only thing I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to lose out on is DNA. So I would suggest, like, they've made the prizes better. I will say, if you do all the Raptors, you're going to win, like, two or three packs. A minimum, I would say. It's very rarely I don't win anything. And if it does happen, I'm quite annoyed. So in total, we probably spent 200 DNA on this. And if you do win said pack, like we have won. Awesome. I think we have. I think we have. So we're down, like, 200 DNA. Open this pack. Um, we're actually up 90 bucks. So that's, like, that's way more in terms of if you were to trade for one for the other. 90 bucks is more than uh, 200 DNA. It's probably about 900 DNA-ish, I think. And also, because I'm VIP, I mean, we've got 40 VIP points. If you're VIP, you get 80. So uh, 80 VIP points as well. So in total, like, I think it's good. I really do think it's, it's worth it. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here to see the, uh, the newest creature. Now, I've never, ever opened one of these packs. The Romulosaurus pack, which is the 50,000 um, VIP point pack, I deliberately didn't open because I knew at some point they were going to make something that was exclusive to these 50,000 uh, packs. Now, they have the 10,000, they have the 20,000, and what's good is that the 20,000... Um, oh, hold on. No. Was solid gold always 20,000? I'm uh, sorry, 10,000. Is that true? I think that was actually right. Because the solid gold pack was always 10,000. It could have even been low. Anyway, either when VIP started, it's been up and down, up and down. This is how it is. 10,000 for a solid gold pack for any one of these. You know, it takes a while to save up. But really, you get VIP points for free just by opening packs. So... It's a nice currency that, you know, if you save up, you can get a really good creature. All of these creatures are amazingly good. Uh, the 20,000 is you will get just that creature. So the solid gold pack, you you have a chance of getting a pad So you can choose. You get better prizes in the uh, 20,000 as well. So um, it's up to you. But the 50,000 had certain uh, VIP creatures that only came out for a limited time before they updated it to make them only 50,000. So, uh, the thing is, I won't be able to max this creature out because I kind of don't want to. It's 50 freaking thousand. Um, so, it, you know, it's a, it's a reef, which means it's good against Mosasaur, it's good against Megalodon, it's good against Tylosaur, it's good against Plotosaurus, it's good against a variety. Um, and, you know, it's good against the reefs anyway. So, I don't know its stats. We are going to buy this. Oh, oh, it's going to hurt. Ah, there it is. 50,000 gone. Don't know how long that took me. 50,000 gone. 
Don't know what the prizes are in this pack, but we're about to find out. Okay, we have just won. I mean, 7 times 3 is 21. So that's 21,000. Plus, you know, 1,500. So that's 22,500 DNA. <laughs> oh, that's so much. Wow, you can really trade them in. I should do a test, right, to see how much DNA you can win. Um between like what's the best way to spend your VIP points if you want DNA wise and we get times two oh three three thousand nine hundred so again not too bad and we did spend fifty thousand but we got three thousand nine hundred back so it is about forty forty six thousand in total costing um so that well that's that done uh, did I oh, I always do that don't I seven bucks is gonna be cheaper than buying twenty five buck uh the third laboratory embryo thing back anyway uh <laughs> So, at max level, 5,000 health and 1,400, which, if we compare it to a normal VIP creature, is about average, I would say. So, it's nothing special, but for some odd reason, it does not have its background that uh, normal VIP creatures have. That could just be a glitch. It does, again, it only costs 100 to uh, speed up. Most of the VIPs don't cost much to speed up, which means that when you finally afford to get one, you get it pretty darn quick. Um, but this is... Th oh, no, yeah, it's like Chronosaur. And you can't tilt the camera up either. But we can see it feed. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same as like Chronosaur or like Plurodon or something like that. But, I mean, at level 10, 1,361 with 385 attack. That's That could take on a Mosasaur. Well, definitely easy because of the type advantage. But not only that, like, that is good as a level 40 legendary. If you saved up and got this creature... Like, you're going to wreck everything. You're probably going to be at the point where you're going to have to buy it back loads of times because it's your only good creature. A bit like the mammoth in the glacier. But, uh... Oh, no, that's awesome. It's a shame I still can't tilt up. Why can't I tilt up, damn it? <laughs> it looks awesome. Anyway, right. So, we're here not only for that. Uh, I'm definitely not... <laughs> I have to do it if I want to refresh it. But we got a VIP. We do have a Dacosaur pack to unlock, but I'm kind of okay. Uh, there's nothing new with those guys. But we'll do this. Um, and we'll get another legendary pack. Um, so, a, a thing I've forgotten to do, uh, it has been a while, is a sort of like how to play the game. Because I see a lot of people that comment saying, oh, I'm so glad I found your videos. I now find doing the battle so much easier. Whereas I think some people got, were impatient. And they're just like, oh, I'll put my three bests and then win. But then they'd be stuck because they've used their three bests. So, in this team, I would say. Um, Metrophodon can do this hands down by itself. Um, you might not believe me, but uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. I think this creature can do it by itself, easy. Uh, you might say, well, it might not be able to because it's it is luck. A lot of this game is luck. It's whether they attack you, whether they block. But you can take an educated guess. Like I kill this thing in two hits. If it goes for two now, yeah, we've definitely won. Um, Oh, maybe not, actually. <laughs> Hold the phone. Okay, I'm going to do this. We're, we're going to try and play this to win. Hopefully, he goes for two again. He doesn't. Ah, uh, okay. So, we could have five. Now, we can't take five. And this is where I lose. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Please go for three. He's going to go for, go for three. He goes for nothing. So there's literally nothing I can do. I might as well go for four block. He's going to have five, which... Oh, no, he's got four. Okay. To be honest, I shouldn't have done this. I should have put some other creature in. He only had four. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Because if I kill it, then Suchopterus, I think, is, the is that hybrid. He's going to come in and kill me. So I know I can survive one hit. So I'm going to go for three block, one reserve. Uh, if I did kill him there, I would have died. Uh, so he goes for four again. Now this, this is interesting because it depends how good Suchopterus is. Um, I think he's probably got more than 700 attack. Uh, it, I, I can technically win this. I can't. I can't take one hit. Um, it's Suchopterus at level 34 has more than 700 attack. I've lost. Um... But he's level 34. I don't think he has a thousand. I honestly don't think he has a thousand attack. I really don't. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this thing and go for three block. Because that means 
I'm safe as long as you can't kill me in one hit. Come on, not more than 700. Ah, damn it. <laughs> well, I'll not forget that in a hurry. He's gonna kill me, but I mean, technically, like I said, it could do it. I didn't do it this time, but he could do it. That's kind of annoying because never do that. Never get cocky and only put one creature in because if even I had put in a Patnasaur, I could have won that battle. Um, so if I'm looking at this team and I want to be strategical, I'm probably going to put in um, Unesaurus to bring in their uh, herbivore, put in T-Rex, and then I'm going to put in something like Antarctic Pelter because that can definitely clear up the entire team. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I had a feeling he'd have a thousand attack. And yeah, he, boy, howdy, did he have a thousand attack? I just thought, you know, there's a chance. Um, so, oh, we kill him with the exact number. He's 2016 health, 2016 attack. Oh, that that was blooming beautiful. That was bloody brilliant, Harry. <laughs> uh, ooh. Look at this! Even Une Ranchers could probably do this by itself, but, you know, that is... An, you definitely can't do that. You will die. Again, because it's mostly luck, there's a chance that you can do it, but you're probably not going to. This is only the first bag. If I wanted to, I could have put an Indominus Rex and just had this in the bag. But, I want to show you guys, because I feel like I don't do that enough. I don't show you. And I always, like, as a rule of thumb, I always do two extra attacks. If I know I've probably got it in the bag, and he might have some blocks. Um, I always go for two extra attack. If I'd paid attention, I would have known he would have had nothing. So I'm going to go for a full out attack here, just because I know if he does if he does block, which he did, um, then Antarctic Pelter could probably kill it anyway. So he doesn't die. Um, he also can kill me in two hits, which he probably will, because he knows I've got nothing. He does go for two, but I know for a fact that Antarctic Pelter, with the advantage, yep, definitely has over a thousand attack, and we can kill him in one, so, yeah, and he did go for the block, so played it the best it could, poor bot, poor bugger, and it's gone. Awesome. So, uh, we also have these missions, I think you get daily missions, uh, VIP daily, that's right, if you're a VIP, you get your own unique one. Um, and then you- Oh my god, we got loads! We need to do three trades. We need to participate in two boosteds. I've never once won this, so I don't know if it's any good. Maybe one day we'll do it. But right now, we'll just claim all that. Oh, yes! All of it and ten bucks, please! Uh. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> so anyway, I'm sorry, like, that's the thing. When I first started this, this, we'll have story time with the beaver. Some of you guys love it. In fact, all you guys love it. I don't care. The people saying, No, I hate it. You're lying. <laughs> uh, we'll do a story time with the beaver because it's this I find interesting, whether it was me saying it or whatever, to find out like a YouTuber's roots. Anyway, when I first started playing this game or first started YouTubing, I would be in my bedroom and I'd be sat in my bed. And if ever somebody was talking too loudly or I could hear them while recording, I'd, I would get really annoyed. And I would bang on the floor and be like, like, stop it, man, I'm recording it. This is serious business. Because, <laughs> I, like, I think, you know, I was nervous um, putting myself across, as is anybody. I mean, if you've never... I mean, YouTube, if you put yourself on the internet, you're putting yourself out there to, you know, be poked fun at. Um, you know, it's... It's an interesting situation. It's very unique. Uh, it's a bit like with theatre, although saying that. It, it's... It's like stand-up comedian. You're putting yourself in the firing range. I mean, with me, I, I never really showed my face too much. And a lot of people will say, Oh, Beaver, why don't you? Why don't you put your face more in uh, videos? Because that would be awesome. But I think with stuff like this, there is no need for me to put my face in videos. Um, for one, can you see a part of the screen I could put my face in without it, like, just... Oh, oh, hold the phone. Hold the phone. I don't think we've done this. Oh, no, we could have. Oops. Um, have I just lost? Ooh! <laughs> ah, we won. Awesome. Okay. Let's go. So even if you went for one more, it, oh, it just survived. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I I mean you, if you wanted for argument's sake, you'd probably find a place that I could put my head. It wouldn't cover too much. But, and I could technically do green, green screen. But the thing is, like, right now, um, I'm moving out. Um, there's a lot of stuff to move around. And don't get me Like, at the new place I've got, the, the setup I'm getting is going to be... It's sick, as a as a phrase that the cool kids would say. It's sick, um, 
But right now, like, I'm, I'm in the awkward period when I'm just sort of <laughs> translating from one place to the other. And it would be too much of a hassle. Like, I want to record these things and feel genuine. Um, you know, you guys can take me seriously. Um, you know, I'm not, like, hiding. Like, when I first recorded, I, I feel like I held back a lot of who I was and um, stuff like that. And I did, I did actually, I, you know, just according to the game, I did actually want um, that thing to attack me for two. Because we can kill him in one. <laughs> yeah, I knew he was going to kill- I didn't- Actually, I thought he was going to kill him in two, but one's just as awesome. Okay. Um, now we've definitely won. There's nothing that right like Rajas Steger and freaking Erlofosaurus, even though they're really good, can do against me. Especially with that attack. Look at my attack! It's beautiful! So, yeah, I- That's something I'm, I think I, my new videos are missing, um, is that- I like when I'm recording to be in like my own space and to feel like it's it's just me in the recording because that way uh, it's it's more of a personal touch and when I feel like you know there's people in the house or um, you know it's not like 100 percent it it basically I don't even know where I'm talk going with this <laughs> it was mainly just to say how like I've settled into things and I have honestly like I was when I first started I was really nervous like if you go back to my first video it was like Jurassic Park Builder. Um, I was I was very like oh yeah that's that's really good, <laughs> um, so yeah we're probably gonna just go for like eight attack because that's gonna kill him. Um, and it was very like that. Whereas I I I think I've I've always, I, I build confidence in myself um, because I I mean I could I, I if I was just talking normally I'd probably still sound like that, <laughs> um, but I feel like there's a lot of the relationship I built up with you guys in the way I talk now. Um, and that's what I love. I love reading the comments. And maybe... Because this series... We're not going to lie. We're not going to argue facts here. This series really stopped my channel. I... I... Humbly bow down to Jurassic World the game. And Ludia and Universal for helping me get my foothold in YouTube. Because without it... Good God, would it have been bloody hard. Because <laughs> these days... YouTube's so oversaturated. Like... When I first started in 2006, uh, doing like videos on YouTube, um, I mean the quality, of course, was like 480p max, um, and there weren't very many people doing it. And if you did do it, it was kind of weird because the internet was still that weird place where not every like nowadays kids live on the internet. They have Facebook, they have a Discord, they have games. Like you can you can live your entire life on the internet. And, um, like, without going outside these days. But when I was doing it, the internet was very, like, ooh, it's kind of nerdy. It was uh, still early days. Very, like, dangerous as well because there was, like, a lot of viruses back then, too. There's still now, but uh, back then it was, like, you could go on a website and boom, your computer would be dead. <laughs> um, but now it's it's okay. Um, oh, my God. Press the suit just killing everything. Awesome. Again, I'm slightly tipsy, so I don't know where these conversations are going. <laughs> and, like, this is something I wanted to address. I probably should have done it in an aisle video, and I'll probably do it now. But it's on my mind, so I kind of want to get it off. And, um, also mention any of you guys that also watch the aisle. But in the aisle, uh, in the latest video, which was uh, Predators of the Plains, I think it was, I mentioned how... Um, like, the progression system was, like, just crap because you have to play for hours and hours to get, like, a dinosaur you want. Um, and, I, I mean, I say a lot of things offhandedly. I, none of my stuff is scripted. And uh, Dondi, you know, Dondi, if you don't know, is the main dev, the developer of uh, The Owl, got in touch with me. And he, he wanted to, like, clear things up as to, like, if I wanted to know a reason why progression was the way it was. Which is very, like, above and beyond of what he needed to do. But at the same time, I was like, I, I didn't want him to feel that, like, I was really having a go. Because I wasn't. I was just, you know, speaking my mind at the time. Um, and if, like, if it was live streamed and somebody said, well, actually, it's this way because of a reason. And I, w I would probably say, yeah, you're right. Uh -huh, I was just saying. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to get off my chest because I felt like, I don't know. I don't know whether I make videos and then people, like take what I say is truth and like that that is fact um I don't think whoever you watch whether it's PewDiePie Jacksepticeye Markiplier naming off the popular ones never take what they say like seriously they probably tell you the same like 
don't do as they do. <laughs> now I would be absolutely the same as my. Oh no. Okay, we have to. We have to take that back. That was awful. <laughs> that was an awful play. I thought I did think for a second there that he had one um, attack. Um, and again, I said I was bloomin' gonna talk about how I was playing. So we'll now let's talk about this. Okay. So Metrophodon is not an opponent you want to come up against. He can kill me in one hit. And this is a Registeg at level freaking 40. <laughs> it's not even a max Metrophodon. So um, he's going to have one block. And because I know that for a fact now, I'm going to go for three block. Um, because he's only going to have three and he can't kill me because I've got three block. Uh, I'm probably going to... Um, oh! Now this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to go for three because that's just enough to kill him. And I'm going to go. I'm going to go for one reserve uh, because the next one coming in probably won't have five thousand attack. It'll have close to it. Yeah, four thousand eight hundred. Actually, that's a difference of two levels, and that's two hundred. That's a hundred per level. That's a lot of attack. Anyway, he goes for three. Um, that's probably out of his four, which means he's got one block. And yeah, I could definitely kill him. Metrovodon has loads of attack. If it had just as much health as it does attack, like equivalency, because it's health pretty poor in comparison to its attack, but because its attack's so high, it honestly doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't have taken that so lightly. And there we go, legendary pack, another couple thousand DNA, a legendary uh, raptor pack, which I really don't think they should be in those packs, and I think they're probably going to take them out. Uh, because they're making these raptor packs now for the mysteries. And another 1,300 VIP points. And there is still the Dacosaur. Still that, which I do need to do. Um, we do... Oh, that's right. We did hatch it. So I don't think we unlocked it. I'll go into the hatchery and see if we can buy um, that VIP. I don't think we can. I th yeah, it's just a VIP creature only. Uh, let's have a look. Just in case I missed it. Uh, no, no, it is not. You can only get uh, Romeliosaurus from the packs. I'll say right now, it's not worth it because for the price of 10,000 uh, VIP points, you can get any of these creatures and all of them are pretty much the same uh, level as that. So unless you, it's just for, for a collection. I mean, I will spend 50,000 just to say I've got it. And I mean, that's the goal to have every, every dinosaur. Um, but I would say it's not worth the price. Pay when you've got all these guys maxed out and then you start saving, then probably start on, on the uh, 50,000, but do not save it. You will be disappointed. I w but I will say that amount of DNA was gorgeous. I love getting that. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. Hopefully this still worked out. If it, I mean, if it hasn't, you'll probably not see the video. And thank you again for all the support you guys have left. And we are on episode 2000. Two, 2000. Yes, 2000 episode. It's great. Uh, 200 and odd. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.